Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belchin here. I am so happy to be back with you. You know, I am so glad. I haven't even, I didn't even want to look at the weather, but I don't think we have a hurricane this week. I hope not. So Thanksgiving is coming up, okay? And I know Thanksgiving may take a little different look this year with us not being all able to get together with our families. But you know, we can still, whoever does all the cooking at Thanksgiving can still make the dinner and then divvy it up and bring it to different relatives and drop it off at their houses. Or I'll tell you what, if you cook it, divvy it up and let them come pick it up. Leave it on the doorstep for them. So I was trying to think of some different things to do for a side. And you know, typically there's always that ham, there's the turkey and the dressings and things like that. But often they're mashed potatoes. Now, I love a potato any way you can make it. So what I have here, my mashed potatoes, when I cook my potatoes for mashed potatoes, I cook them in chicken stock, and I also throw whole garlic cloves in the water. So I cut up my potatoes, I put in, put them in stock, pinch of salt, and a couple of whole garlic cloves. Yes, that makes some garlic mashed potatoes. So here we have our leftover mashed potatoes, okay? Now, I also did a little heavy cream and a little butter in them. So into this, here, of course, I have some bacon. Now, I've cut the bacon up, just rinsed it off in the pan, got it crispy. But let's get to seasoning these. Now, I didn't put much seasoning in mashed potatoes. When I cook mashed potatoes, I don't overdo the seasoning because we want, don't want them to cover up whatever they're going with, whatever we're complimenting them with. So here I have a little more garlic powder, fresh cracked black pepper, a little salt. We're also gonna get in a couple of shakes of our Creole seasoning. Just about a teaspoon. Let's get all of that just kind of worked in, blended there together. Did you tell them what they were what you're making? I am making, oh, I don't think I told everybody, but I am sorry, gang. I got so excited. Remember, I tell you, potatoes distract me. Potatoes distract me like a cake does, all right? We're going to make fried potato balls, fried mashed potato balls. That's what we're going to end up with, all with right? With bacon and cheese. With bacon and cheese in them. Well, and chives. Now, I'm using a shredded jack cheese. You can put in any kind of cheese that you particularly care for, one that you like, all right? I also have some chives here. Let's get in some chives. And you know, if you don't have any chives, if you have a little bit of green onion, if you have a little bit of parsley, I, I like that little bit of green in there, that little bit of herb in there, gives it a little bit of a different flavor, okay? The other thing, bacon. Let's get those bacon remnants in, down in there. Oh, doesn't this look good? You know, you could almost put this in a pan and just bake it like this, and then you'd almost have like a twice to bake potato. All right, that's what those ingredients seem like. Now, I use a little small ice cream scoop to make little balls. You can use a bigger ice cream scoop if you like, all right? But I use a smaller scoop and something that I did was I like to go ahead and put them in the refrigerator or put them in the freezer because right now they're a little tough, they're a little sticky to work with, okay? So by freezing them or putting them in the refrigerator, that really, really helps them out. So what I have, I have eggs and I have breadcrumbs. And you know, everybody differs on breadcrumbs. I like the seasoned breadcrumbs. Monica likes panko breadcrumbs. If you want more of a crunch, you can go with that panko breadcrumb. Because if you notice, the panko breadcrumb are a little bigger pieces, all right? Where the seasoned breadcrumb are really small and fine. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna put our little potato balls right in our egg. And I just have a fork helping me out. And you can see what I'm saying about if you go ahead and throw them in the refrigerator or pop it in the freezer for just a little bit, that helps them firm up. And that makes it a lot easier for you when you get ready to try to handle them, okay? Now, I didn't season the breadcrumbs because I figured we have enough seasoning inside that we didn't need to add any seasoning into the breadcrumbs. Um, if you like a little bit of spiciness, and I didn't put any spiciness in, if you want one of the options, put a little hot sauce in your eggs. 
and that'll give it a little bit of flavor. It'll give it a flavor, but not be super, super hot. So let's go ahead and get our, get these coated. I have the oil heating up. And that's the other thing, you want your oil nice and hot because these are gonna cook very long. They only take a couple of minutes on each side. Okay, let me push these over. Let's get these other guys in so they can get dusted and we can pretty much get them all in at the same time. I find that helps if you try to get them all cooking about the same time, that way they cook a little more evenly. All right. Oh, I tell you what, gang, these are gonna be so good. So just be careful with the oil. Just drop them right in. And I just have a couple of inches of oil. If you want to go ahead, if you have a deeper pan and you want to fry them in a deeper pan, that's fine. You could do that as well. I'm going to turn the fire down just a little bit. Because we're dealing with breadcrumbs, those breadcrumbs can change colors and turn really, really fast as you see what's happening in there right now. So by the time I get these others breaded, but these are already getting really, really dark. And that's my fault because I had the oil so hot. Now, personally, I like that little bit of darkness, okay? Um, Monica's making faces because she likes it more tan and I like that darker because to me it's more of a toasted taste. That's what I like. Okay, so cook to your taste, but we also have to keep the others happy at home when we do this. All right, so just try to keep all parties happy. And the way to do that, let me show you right quick. If I grab our fork, turn quicker. See, while I was busy playing around, see, those are much lighter because I was able to turn them much quicker. And that's one of the easiest ways to go ahead and make sure they don't brown off too much. Now, the other neat thing about this is everything is already cooked. So we're not so much cooking as opposed to heating back up. And we want the oil hot because we want it to seal it off. We don't want, especially with breadcrumbs, you don't want things to be soggy, okay? So here, let's go ahead and flip these over one more time. And I tell you what, they are ready to come out. And just keep in mind, gang, with breadcrumbs, they fry very, very fast. You know, and, and don't do like me. Heat up your oil too hot, all right? You know, I'm going to get talked about that. You know, the boss is going to get on me about cooking that too dark. Oh, come on, when it, when you need it. Here you are. All right. Here, just gonna use our little spider to get these out. Just right on paper towels. If you all could see the looks I'm getting right now, because I let them go so dark. All right, you know I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna make a whole nother batch just for my sweetie. I have to do that. But look, let's turn off the fire. One of the things about when you cook something, once something cooks, as soon as it comes out, when you fry. Some, even though we season so in there, as soon as it's fried, we want to add touch a little bit more salt on it. So now with these, look, let's just take them. We can stack them here. Oh, they're dark. Yes, they're very dark. All right. Oh, and they're warm too. Oh, they're so warm, but I tell you what, they're so delicious. Now, for a little bit more color, we could take a little more parsley, or we could take a little more chives. Sprinkle a little chives right on the top. But I think this would be a nice, wonderful side to go with Thanksgiving. Instead of serving regular mashed potatoes, why not make these mashed potato balls? And, and all right, don't heat up the oil as long as I did and get them as dark as I do but that's the way I like them. And you know, I'm gonna make a lot more for my sweetie that are just gonna be perfectly golden tan. So I'm gonna have to take a picture of those for you all to see that I had to take care of her to make sure everything's all right, all right? So I appreciate you so much being with me today. I hope you're getting ready for the holidays and looking forward to the holidays. We're just looking forward to that there's not a hurricane around this week. 
No telling what next week might bring. So keep washing those hands, keep masking up, keep doing what you're doing to stay safe. Thank you so much for being with me. I'm Chef Kevin Belson for WWL-TV, and we will see you soon.